Welcome once again guys in this video we will be discussing about Linux system organization so let's get start I have the PPT and if you want this PPT I will provide you in description box so if you need it go get it come to the topic start the sliding Linux system organization the functioning of Unix is meant in three levels Unix or Linux one and the same thing on the outer crust reside the application programs and other utilities which speak our language which is represented by user here in this picture. At the heart of the Unix is the kernel which interacts with the actual hardware in machine language. The streamlining of these two modes communication is done by the middle layer called shell. Comes down to shell. The shell or the command interpreter as it is called is the mediator which interprets the commands that we give and then conveys them to the kernel which ultimately executes them. You can imagine kernel as a monarch who is in overall control of everything whereas the shell as its emissary. The kernel has various functions, it manages files, it carries out all the data transfer between the file system and the hardware and it also manages memory. Not only this, the onus of scheduling of various programs running in memory or allocation of CPU time to all running programs also lies with the kernel. It also handles any interrupts issues as it is the entity that has direct dealings with the hardware. Interrupts and all these concepts may be covered in operating system that you may know. I'm assuming it. The kernel program is usually stored in a file called Unix whereas the shell program is in a file called SH for Unix operating system and for Linux operating system it uh, the kernel program is in Linux file and shell program is in SH or bash file for each user working with Unix at different time different shell programs are running Thus, at a particular point in time, there may be several shells running in memory but only one kernel. This is because at any instance, Unix is capable of executing only one program as the other programs wait for their turn. And since it's the kernel which executes the program, one kernel is sufficient. However, different users at different terminals are trying to seek kernel's attention. And since the user interacts with the kernel through the shell, different shells are necessary. Types of shell. Different people implemented the interpreter functions of the shell in different ways. This gave rise to various types of shell, the most prominent of which are discussed, discussing, I'm, I'm discussing, uh, bone shell, C shell, or con shell comes down to bond shell this is how it will look like bond shell and its description is among all Steve Bones creation known as known after him as the bond shell is the most popular probably that's why it is bundled with every Unix system as you may have noticed that it is bundled with every Unix system or perhaps it is the other way around because it was bundled with every system it became popular so whatever the reason and the cause and the effect, the fact remains that this is the shell used by many Unix users. This will also be the shell we shall be talking about in my entire videos. Comes down to C shell. It will look something like this. This shell is a hit with those who are seriously into Unix programming. It was created by Bill Joy, then pursuing his graduation at the University of California at Berkeley. It has mainly two advantages over the bone shell. First, it allows aliasing of commands. That is, you can decide what name you want to call a command by. This proves very useful when lengthy commands which are used time and again are renamed by you. That is, this proves very useful when lengthy commands which are used time and again are renamed by you. Instead of typing the entire command, you can simply use the short alias at the command line. 
if you want to save even more on the time ping works c shell has a command history feature this is the second benefit that comes with c shell previously typed commands previously typed commands can be recalled since the c shell keeps track of all commands issued at the command line this feature is similar to the one provided by the program dos key in ms dos environment or windows environment as you may have noticed dos key program also contains this feature command history feature in this you need to just press up button uh, up arrow key to get all the command history and you will save time in typing again and again comes down to con shell it will look something like this if there was any doubt about the cause effect relationship of popularity of bond shell and its inclusion in every package this adds fuels to it the not so widely used con shell is very powerful and is a super set of bond shell it offers a lot more capabilities and is decidedly more efficient than others it was designed to be so by david con of at&t belts libraries okay that's it for this video hope you like this video please rate comment and subscribe and i will provide you the ppt in the description box in the description box can't say okay okay so bye thanks for watching